Peter Drucker, one of the fathers of modern management theory, said making good decisions is a crucial skill at every level. Now, in a complex and ever-changing world, the need for leaders to be able to make good decisions is more critical than ever. But what constitutes a good decision really depends on your perspective on the outcome of that decision. And that perspective is often shaped by how the decision is made. Good decision making is at the heart of successful organisations and it's also a hallmark of great leaders. When your decision making is ineffective, you either make limited progress or it's progress that takes you in a direction that you don't want to head. So if you're aspiring to take your organisation, your team and your career to new levels of success, you need to be open to checking how you make decisions and then finding out if there's a better way. This takes courage. The first step is to understand how you make decisions and then what you can do differently. Now, if you think about it, we make decisions every single day. And the research actually shows that we make up to 35,000 decisions every single day. Now, of course, many of these decisions are almost non-conscious decisions that the brain just processes automatically or decisions that are actually habits. In 2016, at the University of Melbourne's Centre for Workplace Leadership released a groundbreaking piece of research into Australian leadership. And what it found is that Australian organisations should be concerned about the state of leadership and management capability. And what it also found is that many senior leaders don't draw on strategic advice when they're making decisions about the organisation's future. Now, failing to draw on outside advice failing to draw on broad expertise and failing to collaborate effectively can result in leaders taking a narrow perspective on complex organisational challenges. Leaders today are expected to deliver ever increasing amounts of value, often with decreasing amounts of resources. So as a leader, at the same time, you're also expected to make multiple decisions every day, often quickly and with incomplete information. The challenge is sometimes you're expected to do that with no real process for how you're going to make the decision. Now, the issue when decision making is poorly managed is huge. It increases the time taken to get a decision made. It will waste time and resources makes it much harder often for this decision to actually stick once it been, has been made. And so when that happens, over time, the decision ends up being reversed, relitigated or watered down. 